since today we are here to release a book uh, on uh, Marsi Boganadar Bogar Sapt Khandam and uh, Yogi Ji Venkat Raman has translated in a more simple tab, Tamil language for all of you. You know, tradition goes that Bhaganathar lived in Kadirgama, also in Sri Lanka. And that temple is looked after by us. Eh? We are looking after the temple. There is again tradition that he took the sub Tamraparani route and even went to China. And many people have a different view ki he went to China and the Laoso are the same person. In North India, in Uttar Bharat, we have a tradition that uh, Matsyendranath is a Bhoganath, same, same, but again it is all the great tradition part of that. And the literature is made available for all of you, is a great thing. We should all learn. As someone mentioning, I was not fully able to understand, <clears throat> but one thing is very clear. See, Tamil, people here in Tamil Nadu, because the political, you know, their orientation, made Tamil as a language-centric society. But Tamil is not a language-centric society. Tamil society is very devotional society, very spiritual society. Entire our culture, tradition, history of Tamil is all, uh, you know, history, tradition of Hindu dharma, their society, Adhyatma, everything. <clears throat> and people talk, I was telling him, look, if you read uh, Tirumantiram by Tirumular, is a great philosophical book and that is also in the uh, Saivism book, but that is a non-dualistic book. Many of the Saiv Saiva tradition is dualistic, but that is a non-dualistic tradition. But no one talk about that. Entire, in a, if you go into Bhagavatam, there is saying, there is Sloka. Bhakti was born in Dakshin Dese. Then, you know, Bhakti was born here, you know. Then Bhakti travelled to the east, went to the Gauda. Huh? Gaud is a east. Just like we have a tradition, you know, these are all regional area, you know, not many people understand. Huh? Panch Dravida. Dravida means oh, Tamil Tamil. Th that, that is not the correct thing. Dravida means Panch Dravida. We have a Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam and Marathi. Marathi is the first Dravida, you know. You know that uh, Rahul Dravid cricketer? He is a Marathi fellow. He is, a, he is not a Kannada man. He is living in the Kana, Bangalore but originally he is a Marathi man. Because Marathi is the first Dravida because after crossing the Bindyan they are the first people, you know. If you go in Varanasi, I am from the Varanasi. In Varanasi, because all the, those day names were God names, no? Just like Ramchandra. There are many scholars are Ramchandra. So how they will say, if Ramchandra is from Maharashtra, they will say Ramchandra Dravida, you know. If Ramchandra is from uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, they will say Ramchandra Thailand, you know. Ramchandra is from uh, Bengal, they will say Ramchandra Gauda, you know. Gauda means East. If we have again, just like we have Pancha Dravida here, that side we have Pancha Gauda, not like the, uh, Karnataka Gauda, you know. That Gauda is uh, Anga, Banga, Kalinga, Magad and Kamrup, you know. These are Pancha Gauda. Gauda means East. So they, these were the reasons. So whole our tradition is, ki, I was telling you, ki Bhakti was born here in Tamil Nadu, travel in the Gauda Desa. There she become young, you know, we have a great tradition of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Bhakti from there travel to the uh, Braj Chetra, which is the present Vrindavan and become old and Bhakti remain there, you know. So you can see the Bhakti was born here. But these politicians made this Tamil culture and tradition as a language based tradition and a secular tradition. But this is not the correct thing. Second thing, language cannot exist without literature. And literature, all Tamil literature is based on pure, spiritual, religious, dharmic tradition, full of knowledge, you know. And these are all, which is good thing is that ki, all these, our Satya and this uh, Venkatraman, they are bringing all those, you know, uh, old thing which is not popular in the society, not available in the society, coming to the popular discourses, bringing to all our, you know, uh, younger people for their availability, you all you should read, these are all our great heritage. Another very important thing, the so-called politician here, they have created divide, north, south, all these bogus things, you know. I told you in the last time when I was in IIT Chennai, you know, this is a fact, this is, I am not telling from my side, you know. You go in Bhagavat Mahapuran, we are all descendant of Bhagavan Manu, you know, Manu Maharaj, we are all descendant of 
Manu Maharaj. The last Manu we have, this is by Vashwat Manu. The last Manu was not born in Uttar Bharat, you know. Last Manu was born here in Dakshin Bharat, you know. Rajasi Dravideswar, that is in the Bhagavad Mahapurana. That person is a Rajasi Dravid Satyabrat Manu. So he is the one in the during the great flood, you know, the Mahapralaya, he is the one who took all the space in the boat and took refuge in Himalaya. When I was delivering lecture, so they, they used to say that there is a June movement from the north to south. Then I told you, you should find out there is a gene movement from south to north also. So one gene scientist told, yes, there is a movement of gene from south to north also, you know. So the, there is no, in our tradition, all these are all intertwined, you know, there is no separate thing. But these people have created, these are all bogus things, you know, which we need to challenge them, expose them and read our tradition with the great pride. And absorb it and stand and fight for it, you know, and people because in the name of language they will talk all nonsense, you know, I was telling this uh, professor, you know, from the classical, because I am a grammarian, you know, the old tradition says that the uh, uh, Bhagavan Sankara, no? Siva, created Udugun, in Tamil Nadu you have Udugun, no? we, uh, we call North Damru, uh, Udugu, Udugu, Udugu. And from there, the alphabets came. Ai, Un, Ri, Lirik, Ai, Yong, Ai, Yauj, Havarat, Lana, Yamanganam, Chabaya, Ghada Dasa, Jabba Ghada Dasa, Kapha Chattata, Chattata, Kapaya, Sasa, Sar. These are the alphabets came from that Damru, Uduru. And from based on that alphabets, haan, that is Mahaswar Sutrani, that is Pratyahar Sutrani, Mahaswar Sutrani. See, this is all. And the whole grammar school is known as Saiva Tantra Grammar. The whole grammar school is known as Saiva Tantra Grammar. And based on that, Indra wrote grammar of one lakh sloka. That is known as Aindram, you know. And from that same Aindram is a source, Panini wrote the, what is the Astadai Grammar. He is a, a scholar, he was at one lakh sloka. He summarized in 1000 sloka, which is 4000 sutra. And based on the same Aindram, Talka Pia wrote the Tamil grammar. So both source is the one. Source is the one. Both are sister. If you go through the some of the those who are, it's a very technical thing. If you see the Swaradi gun, you know, Swaradi gun. Gun part, they are very gun part in grammatical is a very similar. You, I, I can tell you once, you, you hear in Tamil Nadu you say am for yes. Am, 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 am for yes. Yes, you know? In Sri Lanka they say om for yes. In Jaffna fellow they don't say am, they say om. Om, om. And if it is om and am, both are in Swada, Swaradi gun of the Panini Astadhai, you know, gun part of the Panini Astadhai. So there is a lot of common things, these are all. So our society, now younger generation, let they should more study and expose this bogus design of the politician. Let's revive the entire great culture tradition of the Tamil society, which is Hindu society, and take pride and help all these efforts, those who are doing all these efforts, encourage them and support them. And my best wishes to everybody.